Hey everybody, in this example video, we're going to be solving for the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide, CO2. To easily remember the steps for finding a Lewis structure, I have them in the top right hand corner of our screen now. So let's get right into the problem. First we need to find the total number of valence electrons that are present in the compound. So remember, our trick to easily remember how many valence electrons an atom in groups 1a to 7a has, we look at the group number the column that our atom resides in. And that'll basically tell us how many valence electrons that atom will have in its neutral state. Therefore, oxygen, being in group 6a, will have six valence electrons, and carbon, being in group 4a, will have four valence electrons. Therefore, our compound in total will have 16 valence electrons. Next, we need to find which atom is going to be our central atom. I have listed the electronegativities of both carbon and oxygen here. Remember, we typically want to use our least electronegative atom as our central atom. Carbon has an electronegativity of 2.5, whereas oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.5, which means carbon is more likely to be our central atom. Now that we know our central atom, we need to create a skeletal structure of our compound. So, let's place our carbon atom in the center and both of our oxygen atoms on either side of the carbon. Let's add in our valence electrons for each atom. Now, we can begin to place in our relevant covalent bonds to connect all of our atoms. As you can see, when I count out the electrons, we have placed all 16 of our electrons. However, we still have several unpaired electrons, which our atoms don't like. Carbon dioxide's solution to this is to create double bonds with both of the oxygens. This leaves all of our electrons satisfied as our total number of valence electrons matches step one, and all the atoms that need to are satisfied in terms of the octet rule. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how to find the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.